My guest tonight wears a thorn-weaved crown worth its weight of valiant leadership. At the edge of the country's third decade of stable and interrupted democratic leadership, he has taken to a road less traveled. Born on a rainy Sunday morning up the popular mountains of Kweutafo in the eastern region, but hails from Kweu in Kweitia, at a time Ghana was looking forward to ditch military rule and usher in the Third Republic, he, from his formative years, was deemed to be exceptional. Top of his class, from primary all the way through the corridors of Accra Academy for both his O and A level examinations, then distinction, acing first class honors, clinching the Bensi Angel Award for Best Graduating Law Students for the LLB, and then EN Memorial Award for Best Student in Family Law. His academic powers snowballed into the cold Canadian hills of Sulich Law law school for a master's in marine and environmental law and then he crossed the border north to uncle sam's cornell law school he has lectured and trained many legal practitioners in this country in reading up his resume it was evident that his relatively young life swells with hard work and practical invaluable experience in law and its relevant avenues for impact this year he picked up the violently dropped baton of the country's special prosecutor, a young officer but with high expectations to deal with the Methuselah horned black flame devil of corruption, which has been the precipitant of government's toppling and military coups in many countries, including our very own in times past. So tonight, we'll find out the weight of the handing over notes and buckets inherited and what the new man at the helm of this arduous fight and visions for the responsibility laid on his shoulders. And oh, lest I forget, just how does he intend to prove all the critics wrong and not to become the president's poodle, as his predecessor Martin Amidu chose to describe him? The cold-eyed, ambitious, intelligent, young, legal thoroughbred with an incontestable, politically insulated seven-year tenure as Ghana's special prosecutor, Kisi Ejabing, is my guest.